Feeling a bit stuck trying to develop a nursing care plan? If you're looking to create evidence-based nursing care plans, you've got to stay locked into this series of videos where I show you how to use your nursing diagnosis textbook in just a few easy steps. By the end of this series, you'll start developing your nursing care plans with confidence. Stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Who loves a well-written nursing care plan? I know I do. As a professor, I think care plans are great because it gives me a true glimpse into your mind as a nurse. Now, why are these care plans important? Because it helps you develop those critical thinking skills and allows you to think like a nurse and apply the steps of the nursing process. So do you want to know the secret to writing care plans? Come on over here, I'll tell you. Your textbook does most of the work. In today's video, I'm going to walk through the first step to developing your nursing care plan, and that includes providing you with an introduction and overview of how to use your nursing textbook. In fact, if you're interested, I also have a template for writing nursing care plans, along with a few examples of different nursing care plans that I've developed in the past. So stay tuned till the end of this video, and I'll tell you where you can download those resources for free. So I'm starting off this series of videos by getting you oriented with your textbook. We're starting from the basics here, okay guys? Now, I will be using the nursing textbook called Nursing Diagnosis Handbook, an Evidence-Based Guide to Planning Care by, I think it's Ackley, Ladwig, Flynn, Mac, Gick, and Zanati. I hope I'm not butchering those last names. Um, but the version that I have is the 12th edition of the book. So you may be using something a little bit different, maybe older or newer. That's okay. You can still follow along. And I promise you, once you understand how to use this textbook, you'll be able to whip through those texts and develop those care plans in no time. So before I show you how to use the textbook, I wanted to start off by helping you understand how this textbook is laid out. If you look at your textbook, you'll see that there are three sections of your textbook. Take a look at the four edge of the textbook. That's the part where you actually flip the pages, right? Not the spine, but the four edge. Now you can visibly see that there are three sections. My book has white, green, and purple. And you can actually see where each of these sections starts and ends. Now for my textbook, I can tell that section one is white, section two is solid green, and section three is purple. It has a little dashes of purple. Now, depending on the textbook version that you have, your colors may be a little different. The main point is that you understand where to find the different sections of your textbook. Now, most of the time when we create care plans, we mainly use section two and section three of the text. We don't typically use section one. So what exactly is section one, two, and three, you might ask? Well, section one is called nursing process, clinical reasoning, nursing diagnosis, and evidence-based evidence nursing, a whole mouthful. It basically provides an overview of important concepts like the nursing process. And hopefully you would have already learned about the nursing process in class. Remember the acronym ADPI, right? A assessment, D diagnosis, P planning, I implementation, E evaluation, right? We're getting that into our heads. Okay, that's what's discussed in section one. Moving on to section two, which is called Guide to Nursing Diagnosis. Section two is an alphabetical listing of client symptoms, client problems, medical diagnoses, psychosocial diagnoses, and clinical states. Each of these have a list of possible nursing diagnoses, and we'll get into the details of section two in another video. And finally, the last section of the book is section three called Guide to Planning Care. 
Section three is a collection of NANDA-1 nursing diagnoses care plans. And the care plans are arranged in alphabetical order and they contain definitions, defining characteristics and related factors if appropriate. And those risk diagnoses that you learned about in class also called um, also contains risk factors. So section three is God sent. Why? Because they come with suggested outcomes and interventions for all the nursing diagnoses. Okay, we'll dive into this section a little later in another video so you know exactly how to use section three to write your care plan. Okay, so now that you're oriented to the textbook and you know what's in each section, you're ready to rock and roll and review the steps to creating your nursing care plan. So check out my other videos and we'll walk through that process together. In fact, if you're interested, I also have a template for writing nursing care plans along with a few examples of previous nursing care plans that you can use to help you. Just simply click on the link below and follow the steps and we'll email them to you for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>